I started playing basketball about eight, but I didn't really fall in love with the game of basketball until I was about 10 years old. That's when, when things really started to ramp up for me. Um, I was the number uh, two eighth grader in the country. Um, I ended up going to DeMatha Catholic High School, played there four years uh, for Coach Wooten, Morgan Wooten. Uh, had a great experience there. Uh, was named Player of the Year my senior year. Was a McDonald's All-American. Played in the first Jordan Classic. I met Michael Jordan um, a little bit before that game, right. but um, I ended up playing. I was one of the first players to play in his first inaugural uh, Jordan uh, Jordan game classics. His very first one. Huh? Yes, sir. That's crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. Ended up playing at Maryland for four years for Coach Gary Williams. Um, great experience there. We won the ACC tournament uh, championship my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I did not get drafted. Ended up playing. Uh, overseas for about 11, 12 years in various countries, South Korea, Spain, Turkey, Greece, Lithuania, Bahrain, Venezuela, yeah. Middle East, yes sir, yes sir. I had a great experience uh, doing that as well. I first decided to write a book um, about 2010, mm -hmm. and I didn't decide to write a book. Some, I was giving advice to a young player, which I love to do, I love to give back in. I'm very passionate about trying to help the younger players out. And one of the younger guys approached me and asked me, can I give him advice? And uh, pretty much tell him a little bit about my journey and my experience. Okay. Um, we was outside of IHOP for about two hours. And we were just talking. I was just being totally transparent with him. Uh, later on, I was in Turkey. And he contacted me uh, through Facebook. Excellent. And um, he said, uh, he thanked me for the advice that I gave him and said that he think I should share my story in the book. Initially, I was like, that's not going to happen because <laughs> I don't. I'm, I try to be like a private guy. I don't really like to expose uh, too much of myself. Mm -hmm. But I love helping younger players if they come to me one on one or in small groups. I have no problem with being transparent. Right. But he says not more so about that. It's more so about how my story can help other young athletes. The first book, Never Satisfied: An Athlete's Battle, is about. I use my experiences to how I started playing basketball at a young age, mm -hmm. to playing professionally. Uh, the ups and downs I, I faced on and off the court uh, through all my experiences, um, I try to give advice to the players and the parents. A number of different things led me to create my company, Think First. Uh, one was just my passion, loving to help other people. Mm -hmm. And then the main point I think would be I, I know my experiences in life, things that I went through, good and bad things. Mm -hmm. So, I, and I know the pain that I felt and the pain that I caused through my bad choices. So what I tried to do was, I tried to use my experiences to help other young athletes, and athletes period, and not just athletes, but people in general. Because I think that, I think first, not, it's not just a sports related thing. I think it can relate to anybody in any field, people that's married, people that own businesses, people that may be actors, actresses, whatever it is. Um, I think, um, I know a lot of times I didn't think first. And I knew I made choices and it ended up affecting my journey in life. And not just my journey, but others as well. So I didn't understand that or comprehend it at that time. Right. But by me understanding it now, I thought maybe I should help other people, other athletes, think first before they make their choices and just not think about their now reaction to their decisions, but think about how their, this decision can affect their tomorrow, next month, next year, years down the line. And not just affect them, but affect those connected to them. I'm located in Maryland, D.C., but I'm, my hopes is to have my company be able to reach out um, around the country and different countries as well. I think this message just don't apply here. I think it applies, like I said, to all walks of life from everywhere, from any part of the world. So I'm, I'm hoping my long-term vision is to be able to have my company worldwide.